Okay, so. Bitch, I had to go get on my iPad because, like, this Mevo camera, which is hooked up straight to the router, is like. Give me shit. Oh, wait. It's working on YouTube. It's working on um, Periscope. It's working on all the other sites. It's only Facebook that does this to me. It's a little weird Facebook that you keep on censoring me because you heard the word Stormy Daniels or some shit like that. Anyways, point is, censor me all you want, bitch. I will get disconnected and come back ten times. Like, keep disconnecting me. Please, God, keep disconnecting me. I Like I said just now, I will shut me down, please, and I will keep coming back. Like, I don't mind. I can have all night. I can literally... Log off and log back on ten more times, like, like, bitch, I don't care, like, keep censoring me, bitch, I don't care. So here's what it is. I'm gonna say the truth, though. Republicans, we had a good day today. We had a real good day today. Anyways, so, um, not only is there now an openly gay person appointed by Trump to head of court, the, in the courts, is, um, Trump nominates an openly gay conservative to federal appeal court. So there's your um, Trump hates gay thing debunked. And like I said in the last video, your woman debunking, debunction, is that a word? I don't know. It is now. Your woman debunction comes from the fact that he employs more women in managerial positions than any other um, president before him in the White House. And we do have a mother as the um, White House correspondent. First mother ever. Also the first White House correspondent that needs to be under secret service as well because her children were threatened by the crazy leftists. Just saying. Another record broken. And then on top of that, Stormy Daniels loses her defamation suit. Damn, Trump's having a good day, bitch. Trump's having a good damn day. Like, hey, we've been having a lot of 800 good days. You are right, James Murray. We've been having a good day. Baby, it's been sunny. Although it's been trying to be cloudy above my motherfucking house and my motherfucking head, my life, my taxes, my career, my job is doing great. Thank you, Trump. So my relationship with the gays isn't that great anymore. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well, I already got a dick to suck, and he's already living with me, so I don't even care. I'm not even looking. Anyway, so let's get back to the what's important. Stormy Daniels loses her defamation case, not because it's a right-wing judge, but because there's proof. And did you guys see the, um, the, she said she was harassed in a parking lot due to her having sex with Trump. She was harassed in a parking lot by a man. So she filed for defamation of character. Okay. And of course, her dumbass lawyer, the same dumbass lawyer that was involved in the Kavanaugh case, the same dumbass. What? Who is this guy? Bitch, can you go away? Like, who can you? Who the fuck is this lawyer? I don't even like him. Like, I, I'm reading it him right now. I don't even want to say his name because he doesn't deserve the clout. Like, bitch, go sit down. Sit your fucking ass down. We get it. You didn't like Trump. You voted for Hillary. We understand it. Stop. Because you're looking dumb. And can you win a case? This, this lawyer has lost every single case that he's put up against Trump. You think he would stop from Russia to Stormy Daniels to Kavanaugh? Bitch, go to bed. Get away. Go, 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 go sit down. Somebody get this motherfucker a bottle, please. Because he's, he's getting on my motherfucking nerves. I'm done with him. I'm done with him. Like, bitch, if any firm ever hires him again, because we all know he quit his firm so he can be independent to work for Stormy Daniels and to work for um, Kavanaugh's fucking accusers. But let's be real. Now that you don't have a job, homie... <laughs> And you lose every single case, homie. I hope you never, ever touch the circuit again. You'll be lucky to be a public defender, you fucking idiot. Anyways, point is, Stormy Daniels, dumbass bitch, her fucking um, catch, her sketch, she had somebody, like a police person, sketch out a drawing of the man who harassed her. And it looks identical to her ex-boyfriend. <laughs> and it's not one of those, like, remember, like, on YouTube, they have that news thing where it's like, awkward news um, reports where it's like that, that black guy he's standing there he's a newscaster and he's like there's a rapist on the loose and there's a picture drawing and it looks like just like him you remember that well it's not like that this is like this is him like bitch she described her ex-boyfriend like that's how dumb this bitch is like she just stuck to sucking dick because you clearly cannot strategize when it comes to burning people ho like but that's why you're on the left understandably that was Stormy Daniels and the, here's the best irony of it all so everybody's been talking so much ahead about the fact that Stormy Daniels has had this GoFundMe page forever. Forever. And everybody's been donating so much money to her and her emotional distress because as, as if porn isn't more emotionally distressful. Like, you fuck a bunch of men for money, like, constantly, bitch, on film. We all watch it, bitch. Like, uh, well, I don't watch it, but people watch it. All I'm saying is this, like, the fuck, like, like, 
you should be feeling bad about yourself for a lot of other reasons. I mean, I get it, Trump's ugly bitch, but I'm sure you slept with way poorer, way uglier, and way dumber men to get to where you are today, Stormy Daniels. So don't tell me that Trump is the reason why you want to kill yourself. And if you do want to kill yourself, just do it already, bitch, because we, we, the world will be better without you, 100%. I never tell somebody to kill themselves. I'm not telling you to kill yourself. I'm going to tell you that if you plan on it, and if you already are going to do it, I mean, just hurry up. Come on. <laughs> so, um, anyways, Stormy Daniels lost her case, and like I said, here's the irony of it all. This GoFundMe page... <laughs> Where she was raising like close to almost a million dollars is going to Trump. <laughs> Isn't that fucking insane, you guys? That's like the fucking best feeling I've ever felt from reading an article in my life. I think. Yeah, I think that's the best time I've ever, the best feeling I've ever felt from reading an article. Like that's the best irony ever. Trump proved that he does not hate gay people today. Trump proved that he did not hate women yesterday and every other day. I mean, you guys still think it, but you're idiots. Trump proved that he is not racist. Trump has proven all these things to you guys. Trump has gave you guys all jobs. That's why half of you guys can't even protest anymore. The protests are getting so tiny, whether it be from people walking away or people just having jobs now, so they can't go and protest. Either way, y'all live in your best life because of Trump. So thank you, Trump, for one, for two. Thank you, Trump, for debunking all these motherfuckers and all these fucking dumbass, hating ass shit. Like, y'all want to keep coming for him. And y'all think I'm crazy because I'm gay and I'm conservative. Guess what? Gay people can believe in the Constitution, too. There's nothing in the Constitution that says you can't be gay, dumbass. And guess what? Maybe I'm on to something, bitch. Because look around you. Take a look around you, homie. And all this is going to do, I'm ready for the backlash. Bring it, bitch. Because I already know this is going to bring so much backlash. Because y'all going to hate so much harder. Because you're going to be even more pissed. And if you're pissed, I know we're doing our job. <laughs> Welcome to America. <laughs> I'm so excited about midterms. I cannot wait. You guys are about to see this blue wave. I mean, that's like when Huntington Beach gets a tsunami warning. And everybody's like, oh my god, there's going to be a tsunami in Huntington Beach. They do it every time. I don't know why people, people that are born here still flip out about it. And every time you go to the beach, it goes up like an inch. Like, this happens a lot in Huntington Beach. There's always tsunami warnings. Blah, blah, blah. We have a tsunami exit route, like, as if we're ever going to get one. But, like, we got, like, these, they go up, like, an inch or two. It's never even came up past the sand, ever. But, um, that's what I feel like the blue wave looks like. And the red wave's not a wave, homie. The red wave is, like, your streets, your lights, your, your cars, your, 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 um, children. Your, the red wave is here, baby. Like, we're not coming. We've been in the White House for 800 days. We're here, and we're queer. <laughs> ah! And the Republicans ain't got no fear about us, bitch. The Republicans, actually, let me say this. It was easier to come out as gay to the Republicans. Yeah, at first they were like, whoa. But all of them, for the most part, have an open heart and totally have apologized publicly to me. On some of these threads where you guys see them hating me, they aren't afraid to publicly apologize when they're wrong. They are the people I would love my children to be around. Because I want my child to know that when you are wrong, when you mess up in life, it's okay to admit that. And when you fuck up, you can only get past it after you admit that and after you, you, you grow with it. And the Republican Party, I've been shown so many beautiful people. And I feel so horrible, but I don't because I look towards the future. I'm not going to look towards the past. But in the past, I judged you motherfuckers hardcore. I judged you guys so bad. I judged every Republican I've ever met. I thought you guys were horrible fucking people. I to was told that you guys were bad fucking people to all of us. I, to I was told because I was poor that I was to hate you. I was told that because I was gay, you was to hate me. And these were lies. And it took me almost 30 years to figure this out. But God, I'm so glad I did. The Republican Party is nothing like people said they were. Nothing like that. They said they were. I've got more acceptance for being gay in the Republican Party than I've ever gotten in the Democratic Party. And mind you, I was all up in that gay shit. Bitch. I was like, I ran for Mr. Gay OC. Like, I ran for that fucking social political position in the gay community. Like, I am gay as gay can be, bitch. And let me tell you, um, when you come out as gay to the Democratic Party, they all have their own idea of what they want you to act like. What, what is their idea of a gay guy? And when you don't act like that, they don't like that. And I've never, I've never been your typical gay guy. Yeah, if I stand there and don't talk, I may look like one. But bitch, I talk. I don't have a closed mouth. I have a loud mouth. I, I'll always be talking, okay? So you will never, ever, 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 ever be done being shocked. And I ain't do it on purpose. I'm just living my best life. But let me tell you, the Democrat Party, when they found out about me being gay, my friends when I was growing up as a kid, like one of them is watching right now, Brian, and they found out I was gay. They all supported me. And they were all really, really good to me. Um, he didn't. Brian had no ill will. No, most of them actually didn't um, in my small town that I was from. But when I moved out here... 
everybody had their idea of what kind of gay guy they wanted me to be. And when I wasn't that, they weren't like, um, yeah, exactly, I, you weren't gay enough. Exactly, I wasn't gay enough at that point. And I, they, they wanted me to be gayer. And what is gayer to them? Has nothing to do with loving another, the same sex. Has nothing to do with a sexual thing even. Has nothing even to do with something as dirty as hooking up on fucking gay apps. Their idea of more gay is voting Democrat. Like, the fact that they asked me, how can you be gay and Republican? Like, it's impossible? Like, the fuck? Here's why. I have a penis. I suck dick. And when I walk into the polls, I vote Republican. That's how. Like, what the fuck? The fuck? Why do you let your dick sucking dictate the way you think the whole country should live? Sure, Obama made it to our gays to get married. Cute! Cute! He also dropped more bombs in our nation's history, more than any other war we've ever had before us. More than World War I, more than World War II, more than Vietnam, and we all remember D-Day. Well, we weren't alive, but we remember hearing about D-Day and learning about the tragic events that happened on that beach. With the average age of the kids that died, you were 50% chance to die, and the average age was the ages fucking 18 to 20 years old. We all know about these wars. And Obama managed to drop more bombs in our nation's history more than any other fucking war. He also sent home the most illegals. Yes, he called them illegals. He did not call them undocumented. That didn't come about until you guys started hating the Republican Party. He called them illegals. He sent home more illegals in our nation's history more than any other president. And you praised him for it. But gays didn't get married. <laughs> I would trade my marriage to have human lives living any day of the fucking week. Right now, bitch. Take my right to marry if that means that more people can live. Now, of course, that will never happen. And in America, that's not going to happen. Trump's not going to go back on that. He can't go back on that. First of all, Supreme Court already said... You, if you are stupid and you're watching this and you don't know what, how the Supreme Court works, they're the one entity that's kind of... Not kind of, but they are above the president. They can pull rank. They're the one entity that when it could pass through the Supreme Court, it can't be fucking brought up again. Like, it is what it is now. Now it's a fucking it's reality. And that's gay marriage. So any of you guys who think, vote blue in November because they're going to take away gay marriage... Shut up. They can't. They can't. It's not an option. Get that out of your mind. Get that out of your conversation. It's not even part of a conversation piece anymore. I don't give a fuck if all Republicans hate gays. It ain't a conversation piece anymore. Stop. But like I said, why would you let your sexuality dictate the way you vote, gays? And if gays are so accepting and tolerant, why aren't you guys the poster child for bipartisan? Hmm? Kind of weird, huh? Just saying. Just a little hypocritical. A lot of hypocritical, not a little bit, a lot of it. Anyways, but I don't want to go too deep into my emotions right now or too deep into anything except for happiness. I just wanted to let you guys know that it was so fucking awesome that today happened because I love the fact that today's the first day ever I've been looking at my newsfeed all day um, and I've seen nothing but good things. Like I've been, I've had my clients today and in between my clients I go on newsfeed with them and talking about things with them and every single day I'm seeing is positive, 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 positive. He's proven he doesn't hate blacks. He's proven he don't hate gays. He's proven he don't hate women. And the best part about it is he's not doing these things to prove to you about nothing. Because as you know, Trump don't give a fuck about what you think, homie. He don't give a fuck about what you think, homie. He's trying to improve this country. That's what he's doing. Whether you like him or not, he's improving the country. And if you are at work so you can't protest anymore, then that's your proof. But all I got to say is this. He's still hiring openly gay people. He's still debunking that he fucking hates women by having more women in managerial positions. You think that's because he wants to debunk it? No. Trump Industries has always hired more women in managerial positions than any other company in the United States of America. Fact. Yeah. Look it up. <laughs> anyway, so um, keep it positive. Keep it happy. But Stormy Daniels, you dumb bitch. You dumb bitch. She said, I was harassed in a parking lot by a guy who looks exactly like my boyfriend, apparently. <laughs> you stupid cunt. Like, she's that dumb. She's that dumb. Like, she's like, because I was harassed one time in a parking lot, I'm going to go sue Trump for defamation character. Bitch, people have said worse about you. You're a porn star. You suck dick for money. Old men dick for money. Trump was, I think, the only one who did it for free. And Melania hasn't said shit about it, because, I mean, let's be real, if you were married to Trump, I mean, she already had his kid, she has help, she has his money, like, I'll be like, go fuck somebody else, bitch. Like, you know? But that ain't neither here nor there. That ain't neither here nor there. All I got to say is, go Republicans, and all you Democrats right now, come for me, bitch, you're going to, I get it. I get it. You're pissed. You guys must be pissed. I'm expecting the most craziest fucking protest 
in the world. And if you guys can't bring it, it means you guys are at work. So thank Trump for that too. But I'm waiting for it. Bring it, please. Because the crazier the left gets is not the more alarming or the more scared we should be. It's the more reassurance we have that we're fucking winning and that we're fucking the good will win and the good people will win and the good fucking Americans are going to get their fucking chance to be here. And that time is now. That time is now. Our kids are going to be taken care of. Our futures are going to be secure. We're done playing victims. We're all going to be victors. Black people, gay people, women, men, white men. We all deserve it. We all deserve it. So, if you don't like that, I don't know what to tell you because no matter what, we're going to win. Why? Because we don't believe that you should use people's past, people's, like, memories, people's atrocities in their life, people's sexualities, people's genders as fucking ammo against your opposing party. And don't forget the people you're throwing around as ammo and just using as disposable people are the ones who believed in you and voted for you, you fucking Democrats. You guys are so pathetic these days that you guys have made it to where people like me... And openly gay people are saying that we love being Republican. Let that sink in. And I'm glad we did. Because what I've learned is a lot through the Republican Party. I've got a lot of love from them. I've been shown so much support from them. It's insane. I've had so many people say I'm sorry. I've had so many people come to me and say I didn't accept gay people until you. I've had people tell me that I brought together their families. Literally, my fucking crazy ass videos and my ratchet ass brought together families like... Bitch, like, this is fact. Like, I, I get told this stuff all the time. Like, nobody's ever made me feel good for simply being myself as much as the Republican Party has. And that's, that's true. Like, it's so crazy. Like, I never thought that would be a, a reality. And it's not because the, the Republican Party changed. It's because I was lied to by the Democratic Party about the Republican Party. We all were. We've all been such lied to. Like, if you can't see the lies now... Now that you know Trump doesn't hate gays, now that you know Trump doesn't hate women, now that you know he's not racist, now all you have to look at is Hillary. And the fact that now she silences women as she says to stand up for women. And how your DNC leader was beating his wife and you stayed silent. These are real victims in the, in the world. How many women committed suicide after revisiting their dark past of previous sexual assaults after this Kavanaugh case? How many? You'll never know. I'll never know. But to say that none of, nobody committed suicide is absurd. Michael Jackson died and the suicide rate went up. Imagine what ha happened now. Imagine how many women relapsed on drugs. Imagine how many women beat their kids. How many divorces are happening right now because of this? How many women don't trust their husbands because of something that happened to them in their past? How many women didn't tell a soul and was just wanted to live past it and was doing a great job doing that until you made them revisit their past? How many... And why aren't you or anybody on the left speaking about that? But you care about a woman, right? And I don't think anymore that um, she doesn't want to pursue any... Um, I don't think anymore that um, Ford doesn't want to continue to pursue anything because she's just simply lying, although that is one of the reasons. I think that she doesn't want to pursue anything because, let's be real, who just started their country tour on only liberal states? The Clintons. As Hillary is going around... As she said in her interview that she's doing to start her tour off with, she's going around to prove to her supporters how her husband is not a rapist because there was one investigation done in the late 90s. As she has seven on Kavanaugh. And all debunked. But one done in the 90s got a man impeached. Her husband that she's touring with right now. So here's the plan here. Here's what I think is happening. I think that what she's doing is this. She's simply... Telling Ford, shut the fuck up, I'll pay you money. And Ford did, because she's a puppet, as we all know. And then um, she's now touring, telling all her supporters, you guys, because she's only touring liberal states, why? Especially if she's about to come out and run again for 2020. Hmm, you're up to something, bitch. And you're touring with your husband for the first time ever? After the Me Too thing? And you don't want Ford to pursue anything, so the dust settles? Think hard, guys. So it doesn't even have to think hard because the Democratic Party wears their shit on their sleeves. So let's be real. So I think she's touring the country now with Bill to tell her supporters he's not a rapist. So she gets some people behind her and then she can come out and say, I'm running in 2020. Let's beat Trump. <sighs> the only sad part is that I think she's 
a little too late. Because there's like a couple million people that walked away from the left already, Hillary. So, and on top of that, you made it to where your fucking um, tickets are $700 a piece. And you only went to liberal states. Do the math. Liberals aren't the ones with the money here. And on top of that, or the futures. And on top of that, they, who's going to pay $700 to Hillary Clinton? I can't name one liberal gay that will pay $700 to fucking see fucking their favorite, to Gaga, let alone fucking Hillary Clinton. Like, bitch, what? Like, oh, but she's bringing her sideshow with her. She's bringing the rapist. Do you guys want to see a rapist in real life? A real political rapist? You don't have to go to the, to the Natural Museum of History, the, the Museum of Natural History. You don't have to go there anymore to see the dress with his cum on it. You can see him face to face now if you pay $700. You can hear her tell you how he's not a rapist. And you can hear her tell you how she still loves him. I think she's trying to do the, like, the Beyonce Jay-Z thing. Because you know how they're all close. So you know how they're doing the um, <laughs> on the run tour, Beyonce and Jay-Z? Well, doesn't this look oddly similar to that? And it's kind of weird how they both have hot sauce in their bag. So maybe there's a connection here, I don't know. But apparently when you have hot sauce in your bag, you have black votes. She thinks black people are stupid. Which is another insult to black people. Maybe that's why you're losing the black vote too. I don't know. But anyways, so I want to go on and tell you guys today's been a great day for Republicans and tomorrow's going to be even better. And don't forget to vote red this November. It's not about, normally I would never say just vote red. I would never say that. I would always say I support people's right to vote in different ways. And I still support that. So I support you voting Green Party or voting red. I don't support anybody voting blue. Not at this current moment. I do not believe that the Democratic Party has always been this evil. I do believe they have become this evil and we've all watched it live on, if you have a phone or a, um, any kind of computer screen, you've watched the Democratic Party crumble and delusionally think that they're rising. And actually, the only thing they rised was their numbers of violent offenders. So if you do not see the scary hypocrisies and the scary fit-throwing of the left, then you are living under a rock and you probably don't even watch this video right now so you will have no idea what I'm even saying. But... Anybody who's a real human being with real emotions or that has loved ones that they actually love, please do not vote blue. Even if that one blue politician is a good person. He needs to wait until the blue party cleans it up a little bit. Just saying. I will not vote blue. I will not vote a damn thing blue. I don't give a fuck what the bill is. The good thing is, none of the blue bills are about helping humanity. So we have that on our side. <laughs> so... I mean, there's just about making people more victims, so that's a good thing. So you guys can always vote, vote red or vote green. I support you in voting green. Vote green if you want to. If you guys want to walk away, just walk away, baby. You don't have to come Republican. I believe more in Republican values because I'm a constitutionalist. I believe in their fucking party. I do not believe in the Green Party at all, but I do think that they're, um, not, they're harmless because they're not out there killing people. So I do believe that they have a right to have a voice. They do have a right to have a stance in this country. So vote Green Party or vote red. Just vote, okay? Now, when you see any gay advertisements where there's drag queens on the cover of a magazine saying, vote, just know that those same people that are screaming at you to vote are going to be really mad when you do vote because nobody's voting blue. Nobody. Like I said, the, red, the blue wave is equivalent to a tsunami in Huntington Beach. It goes up like an inch. It doesn't even hit. Like, you, we don't even notice it. Like, ever. We all get the notification to our phone and we don't even notice it. So, I'm going to continue not to notice it. And this is the part where you guys get really angry with me. This is the part where you guys start sending me privately messages, tell me I'm going to die, I'm a, a disgrace to gay community, and blah, 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 I'm not welcome at Pride anymore, Pride's already over with, so go ahead and hate on me, bitch. Oh, I'll be at Palm Springs Pride, that's my birthday. <laughs> if you want to come beat me up there, you guys can come find me. But, um, yeah, whatever. Um, I'm done getting hit in the face, I'm done getting notes on my front door, I'm done. I got cameras everywhere now, bitch, and I'm getting a motherfucking gun license, and yes, I'm making that public. I'm strapping my motherfucking self, I'm done getting fucking these hor horrendous threats from the all-loving, all-tolerant left. Especially when half the threats are coming from the OC center. The OC gay and lesbian center. When I reach out to them, because they said they have a no-hate program, when it, they touch base on gay hate within the gay community. So I hit them up and said, what about the Trump supporters? And those are the ones coming for me, violently. I'm getting a gun, baby. Hi! Come for me. Anyways, um, I'm not crazy. I'm not going to just shoot anybody like crazily, but I'm not going to fucking take it anymore. Just so you know. So, love America today. Love America tomorrow. And um, Democratic Party, 
Just clean it the fuck up. Just admit that you're Democrats and that's why you don't like Republicans. That's okay. I respect that more than making up lies. Like, if you make up lies, it shows that you obviously have no, like, firm ground to stand on. And that's embarrassing. So, more embarrassing than my fucking face right now and my fucking hair right now. More embarrassing than fucking at all right now. Because right now I look like shit. I get it. Um, I'm starting to get a little sick, actually. It's weird. But I've been getting sick, like, all day today. So, love everybody and laugh at Stormy Daniels. Daniels. Is that her real name, even? Or is that just her porn staging? I don't know. But if, if a whore is telling you that the most offended she was was when somebody made fun of her in a parking lot and they looked exactly like her ex-boyfriend because she couldn't come up with a different composite sketch, then you know the Democratic Party has nothing to stand on. And the more mad they get, the more you know we're winning. And this isn't for us. This is for our future. This is for our children. These are for all the kids that are watching the Democratic Party. These are for those parents that are using their kids as ammo. Taking them to the Senate saying, you have to apologize to my children. Did you guys see that video? Uh, this woman took her children to the Senate and said, apologize to my, uh, my daughter for ruining her life. She also was there with her son. I felt like saying, no. Apologize to your, you apologize to your own son for ruining his future. Him too. Anyways, so me too, him too, doesn't even matter. Let's say us too, you guys. Not because we're all victims. We all are victors. We all can rise above all of it. And we're going to. And we are. Trump's not a savior. Trump sparked something in us. He sparked something in me. He sparked something in all of you. He's not a savior. He's not a god. He's not Obama. We don't worship him. But I will tell you, he's shown us that we can be diverse and get along. He showed us that we do not have to take shit anymore from anybody. He showed us that once you put a stern hand down, people pick it up. Look at every country. We have respect across the world. Still not at home, but we have respect everywhere else. It's amazing. This country's doing great. He's brought home already 19 people from different countries that were in prison in different countries for different reasons. He's really about Americans. He's hired gay, black, women. You guys, I, I can't even say anymore. Like, what do you want me to... There's, if you can't take the proof that we have for you, then you want the world to be a bad place. You want to believe that it is that bad. And that, to me, is scary because we have children growing up. And if some of you are parents... And that scares the shit out of me. You fill in your child's heads with lies that the world's so horrible. Ignoring progress when it happens. You're like David Hogg on a fucking tour and during summer fucking for gun control. You drive right past the schools where the school shootings were stopped. You don't say a word. Or you drive straight to the schools where there are deaths to preach saying we need change. But ignore the change that's happening. Don't be David Hogg. Be Trump. <laughs> And say fuck you to everybody. Just kidding. <laughs> no, but um, for real, I love it today. Today's been such a good day, and November's coming, and I'm not that scared, you guys. And I'm not saying to rest easy, though. Do not think that that means rest easy because we got this in the back, so you can kick it. No, fight, fight, fight. Not with your fists, not with your words. Fight in those voting booths. In those voting booths. I want you guys to go and fight like real Americans. Take it to the booths. Take it to the booths, and take it to the booths. And I want to see red take over this country. Why? Because I don't want to see my sexuality used as a fucking ammo anymore. I am not a bullet. I'm my past. My life is not something that to be exploited. It's something to be appreciated as a human being's life. I don't be here regardless. So I am garb. I am garb. <laughs> anyway, so good night guys. I love you guys so much. I'm getting sick. I need to go to sleep. But Vote red this November if you care about your children. And that's not one of those democratic kind of ways of saying, if you care about women, you're going to vote. No. You have the option to vote any way you want. Even blue. But by God, I hope that all of this outlandish foolishness and violence and crazy separations has shown all of you why not to vote blue ever again. Oh, at least not for now. At least so we get better leaders in there. I do believe we can get good people in there. I do believe there's good people that do vote blue normally. Those are the ones walking away. Those are the ones that are pissed off. And I'm not telling you to walk away to red. Although, I mean, hey, I mean, I like it when you vote my party. But in America, we all can fucking vote the way we want. So I do believe that you guys should be able to vote green as well. Blue, I never thought I'd say this. But I do not support you voting blue. I want a child. Don't ruin it for me. Okay? I don't want to bring my child up in a world of Hillary Clinton's. Please. I want my daughter to actually have hope that she can do it without a man. Thank you. Good night. Bye.